Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be teaching you the ultimate way to make money in GTA Online. But this video has a slight twist to it, because instead of reading off one method to make money, or a trick to take advantage of, or rebates, or anything like that, I'm going to be going into the top few methods to make money, and you guys can go home and choose one method which will suit you the most. Now, each method is different, of course, everyone is going to have a different answer. One person who chooses one method probably won't have chosen the same method as another person. So the aim of this video is to teach you each and every method to make money in online and on average how much money each method will get you every single hour, whether you need friends to do it or whether you can do it solo and just all of the little bits in between. So hopefully the aim of this video is to teach you something new and just give you guys a method to work with. And if you guys do choose a method, feel free to comment it in the comments section below uh, and maybe you'll find some other people who have chosen the same one who may want to help out or join in uh, and we'll just see which is the best or the most popular one to do. So kicking things off we're going to go into the most obvious way to make money. This way I think everyone has participated in it is jobs or missions for example. Now missions are usually the highest paying jobs but the chance of getting a good one isn't always 100%. So on average if you were to play missions and jobs on a daily basis you would make $96,318 an hour, which is still pretty good. But if you manage to get a spree of just the best missions in the game, uh, then you have the potential to make up to $143,830 an hour. So that's the maximum amount of money you can make with these jobs and missions. But jobs do have an exception, and they can be thrown straight to the top of the list if it's a double money and RP weekend. Occasionally, Rockstar Games do give you double money on a lot lot of jobs and in this case this can give you a potential to make almost $200,000 an hour on average and of course doubling the maximum potential to make $300,000 an hour uh, but that is of course on a double money and RP weekend which is fairly rare but if you guys are watching this video on a double money and RP weekend just to make sure you take that into account. So this next money making method is incredibly easy it's probably the easiest one I have on the list but it's not the best one in terms terms of getting your cash straight away and then quitting the game. You have to invest a lot of time into this money making method. This in fact is being daily objectives which can actually earn you $150,000 an hour just for completing daily objectives. So if you guys are unfamiliar with how these work you can find them in the interaction menu and they will take about 20 minutes to do each day and if you do this every single day you will get bonuses and these bonuses are a lot of money. So each daily objective will get you $25,000. And if you do them for seven days straight, you will get an extra bonus of $100,000. So every single week, you can earn yourself $275,000. Multiply that by four, that's $1,100,000. Because if you do this for 28 days straight, not only will you get yourself that $1.1 million, you will also get yourself a $500,000 bonus. So if you do the daily objectives for 28 days straight without missing a single day and completing each objective, you will earn yourself $1.6 million per month. And because each objective takes an average of 20 minutes to do, this will yield you on average $150,000 an hour. So it's something I recommend you guys definitely take advantage of. But like I said, I'm going to point the obvious out here. Not everyone plays video games every single day. So if you are someone who does play video games every single day, whether it's an hour or two hours or whatever, uh, then this is definitely something I recommend you guys take advantage of. If you're not sure if you're going to be able to play video games every single day for the next month, then of course this method may not be for you. But it's a great way to make money. It's fast and easy. It just takes a longer period of time. And Rockstar Games, of course, are betting on you missing a day, which is something you cannot do in this one particular method. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go into a money-making method, which is recommended for you guys already with a bit of money. Because this, of course, is VIP missions. They are probably one of the more lucrative parts of GTA Online and are relatively easy to do and the payout
out is very uniform and reliable across all players. You know what money you're going to get, you know how much money you're going to get, and you know how much time you're going to put in. It's a very straightforward thing. Point A to point B, you do this, you do a list of tasks, and you get your money. So there's not much trouble in doing VIP missions. But you will need a million dollars in your bank account initially to set up a VIP organization. If you don't, you're going to have to register as an associate of that organization. But with a cooldown period of 12 hours, you only have four hours to make some money as a VIP in online. So make sure you use those four hours carefully, wisely, and efficiently. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty and let's start talking money. So VIP missions will yield you $211,500 an hour, but that is if you use the wave trick. I'll get into that a bit later on. But if you use this normally, however, you will get yourself $149,193 an hour. So going straight into the wave trick, I know some of you guys might not be able to understand it. I think a few people have explained this a little bit badly in my opinion. It's extremely easy to understand, very, very simple, and it's just doing three missions over and over again, and it allows you to make the most money the most efficient way with VIP missions. And if you do this for four hours straight, you can yield yourself a lot of money. To be exact, it's $211,500 an hour, and if you do this for four hours straight, that's almost a million dollars you're making uh, just for one session of being a VIP. Uh, so to do this, you're going to want to start off with Headhunter. Once you've finished that, you're then going to want to do hostile takeover once you've finished hostile takeover and once you've done that you're going to want to go back and do headhunter once you've finished headhunter you're then going to want to do sightseer and then headhunter and then hostile takeover and then you're going to want to repeat that all over again so it's that one sequence so headhunter hostile takeover headhunter sightseer headhunter hostile takeover and then you start it again and again and again and by doing this it allows you to minimize the cooldown periods and maximize the missions uh, so once again guys you're going to want to do headhunter and then hostile takeover and then headhunter and then sightseer then headhunter and then hostile takeover and you continue that over over and over again and you will make $211,500 and for as long as you do that for four hours straight uh, that is of course almost a million dollars in your bank account for just doing four hours of VIP missions. I granted it can get very very repetitive but if you guys are after the money this is definitely a great way to make it. So going straight into the second best, the runners up way of making money, this is actually using heists. It's very easy to do, very uniform, it's point to point. It's got a list of things you have to do. You can't really mess up in heists. And they've been in the game for a very long time, but it seems like they're still very unpopular. Like no one uses them, uh, they take time, you have to get a crew together, and if someone leaves, then it's very annoying. So I recommend doing this if you have a group of friends and you're gonna be spending at least an hour on GTA Online. But to do this, you're going to need a luxury apartment. Uh, but of course, many players in online who have played this game for a while will most likely have a luxury apartment. If you don't have one, I recommend getting one, guys, because a luxury apartment will allow you to do so many more things in online and get you a lot more money in the long run. So I recommend getting one if you haven't already. Uh, but the list is from the lowest paid per hour to the highest paid per hour, so you know exactly how much money you're making each heist. And surprisingly, Series A funding will make you the least amount of money out of all five heist missions. So this will make you $150,490 an hour. The Fleeker Bank heist will make you $154,100 an hour. This is low because the job has an hour cooldown. Of course, if you guys manage to find a way around the hour cooldown on the Fleeker Bank heist, then you're in for some serious money. Uh, but next up, we have the Humane Labs with $177,400. $485 an hour. Next is the prison break with a whopping $187,637 an hour. And finally, there is the Pacific Standard Heist. This will make you a whopping $289,102 an hour. Of course, repeating this over and over again, you can earn yourself a lot of money. So like I said earlier, the problem with heist is that if someone leaves, that's it. It's over. You have to repeat the entire thing, uh, which of course 
loads and loads of you guys do not like. Uh, but if you do have a group of friends and you know they're going to stay for the entire heist mission, uh, then of course make sure you do heist because there is a lot of money to make. Uh, but moving on to the last and probably the best way to make money per hour, this of course is the very new and very recent CEO cargo missions. And if you guys know how to run a CEO organization efficiently, this can be extremely lucrative. But if you've done it wrong, it can also be a huge money sinkhole. So to start things off, you're going to want to get a large warehouse. Trust me guys, you just want to invest that money. You want to get a large warehouse. If you can't afford one yet, don't buy a small one or a medium one. You're going to waste a lot more money in the long run. This is because a small warehouse will earn you $142,714 an hour. A medium warehouse will earn you $251,469 an hour. And a large warehouse will earn you $327,000. $157 an hour. So putting that into perspective, you make more than double the money with a large warehouse. So I recommend saving up for one of them. Of course, if you can't afford one, if you know you're never ever going to be able to afford one, get a small one, get a medium one, and save up money using CEO cargo missions until you can afford a large warehouse. But of course, if you can go for a large warehouse, if you know you can save up a bit more, go for it because you're going to regret it if you don't. Also, something I need to mention is that if you're an associate, your pay is borderline useless. This money is mainly for the CEO. The associates are paid barely anything. So you're going to want to try and find a way to reward them, try and encourage them and pressure them to join your organization because they have no incentive really to join you because they're making little to nothing in terms of money. And just going into perspective on how little money the associates are given, their wage amounts to $45,000 for the first hour and a half. And after that, it will be $40,000 an hour. So I don't think I need to explain myself on this one. If you're an associate, you literally have no reason to join a CEO organization. So make sure you do try and find a way to reward them, encourage them to join, maybe take turns with your friends or something. But of course, if you have associates, if you know you're always going to get them, get a large warehouse and keep doing CEO cargo missions because it is currently the best way to make money in GTA Online. And of course, this is isn't even accounting for the special items. You can earn up to $150,000 per special item. These are random with the CEO cargo missions. So of course, this money per hour will go up as it's not including the special cargo and special items which you get with these missions, which of course, one of them will earn you up to $150,000, which is the golden pocket watch. So make sure you do not miss out on that. Uh, but that is everything read out. That's the top five ways to make money in online. To go over it again, it's jobs, daily objectives, VIP missions, heists, and CEO cargo missions. And I really, really do hope I taught you something new. If I did, please don't leave without smashing that like button and showing your support. And subscribe to my channel if you are new here so you won't miss out on any more informative stuff just like this. I recommend you guys go and check out Nexa Nation though. They were the people kind enough to draw up this entire higher draw board on money making methods. I'll leave a link to the site in the description below. Awesome, awesome guys. Thank you so much for making this. It's extremely informative and it puts a lot of detail and perspective into how much money you can really make just taking advantage of the things around you in online. So once again, I hope you guys did learn something new. Let me know in the comments section below which money making method you're going to choose and which one you're going to use from now on to earn your money in online. And if you guys can't do one of them like VIP missions or CEO cargo missions or heist because you don't have enough money currently in online, then hopefully jobs and daily objectives and other things will take your liking, which is something everyone can do regardless of how much money or your level in online. So I hope you did find something which takes your interest. Of course, let me know which method you're going to use in the comment section below. But guys, my name is Nort. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.